What's going on YouTube? I was told to uh, make a little Maelstrom TCG video showcasing my sample master set, Patreon cards, uh, all my hit cards, etc. So I hope this is something that you guys enjoy. Um, I've had a lot of fun collecting this and here it is. Alphabetized and all that good stuff. Or uh, in numerical order I should say. First page is beautiful. Got your big hitters. Uh, this is called a distorted rare. There's the distorted sample crystal. We've got the Helios, um, the secret crystal rare cards in the set. Definitely the big hits from V1, which is the first version of the sample pack. These cards come in this Maelstrom pack here, the V1 sample pack. Uh, from here, we just have a bunch of rares, cards 9 through 17, and then the rest, I think up to 35 is rare. Yep, and then you'll start to see, so actually right here is where V1 ends at Fiend Night Creeper, and then it goes to V2, which is the second uh, version of the samples that came out. This is the V2 sample pack. So that's where you can get uh, Koshai, the Venerable Vermin, uh, other good cards from V2 are the Autumn Winsome Sybil. We'll showcase the um, Signature Series cards and stuff like that in just a minute. But here's the Winsome Sybil. <clears throat> the one Secret Crystal Rare card is the Victorious Pledge. That's this one here. And then you're going to get into your uh, Uncommons, your regular Rares and stuff like that once we go through here. Um... V2 packs also had V1 cards in non hollow form, so that's why you'll start to see uh, two copies of multiple cards in this binder, is because they come in hollow in V1 and then non hollow in V2. Gotta have both versions if you want a uh, true master set. Devin's favorite card. Devin is the creator of Maelstrom TCG. Happy belated birthday uh, to Devin. Let's get you through this stuff. All, all good stuff if you guys want to make a deck. You got to know everything there is to know about equipment cards, affinity cards, uh, land cards, and then your creature cards, of course. But yeah, we'll get through these. Um, V2 ended at 135. There's a bunch of empty space here in between this and I believe it's 169, which is the Covetous Crystal Drake. Uh, those cards are going to be provided uh, after the Kickstarter. So yep. Yeah, goes to the one distorted rare that was in the v2 and the guy on the cover the covetous crystal drake um so yeah there's that and then from there we go on over to our promo cards which um this is the sacred curses set i believe there were seven cards in that total yep seven cards one of the first maelstrom sets uh, some of my Patreon cards are going to be missing because I'm uh, building some decks with them right now. But the January Patreon cards were the Distorted Idol, um, Calling of the Maelstrom, Enchantress, Submissive Defense, Moonsworn Dragon Yin, and then, um, what's the Little Mermaid girl's name? Uh, niece. Niece, yep. And then you had the January Rewards, which were the Epic Confrontation Double Card, which is up top. The Full Art Exercise of Rights, the Signature Series Fortunate Find, the Blonde Lady whose boobies are covered up right now. Um, and then we move on to February, which you have this nice little Full Art card here. Glutton of Grindavark, Bolt of Lightning. Um, let's see, we have Balance, another Glutton. This is the Stained Glass version of the cards. Very nice card there. Uh, March Rewards start with the Devilish Instigator, a couple more Full Art cards, then we get to April. My April reward was actually missing uh, the Secret Crystal Rare version of this card here, so I'm, I'm still waiting on that. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all the stuff that I would put in a binder. Um, once you get through the binder, Maelstrom has a couple of other cool things. These are the utility coins. These are the, a good way to get um, what they call it, like event exclusive promo cards and stuff like that and discounts on Maelstrom product. Um, if you're not able to attend conventions and stuff like that, like me, um, definitely try to get your hands on one of these um, in the marketplace or just ask around, see if you can trade to try to get one of these. 
Um, let's see. Maelstrom also has a couple more packs. These are the truly, truly exclusive rare packs. These are the Kickstarter sample packs. Only 180 of them in existence. These are the three pack arts. Um, only five total booster boxes. Five booster boxes times 36 packs. That's how you get the 180. So Kickstarter sample cards are definitely going to be a big, big collector's item. Um, I believe there was only 20 of these printed. These are the Forbidden Collection Series. This is how you get staff cards. Um, I don't have any in my vicinity to grab right now, but a very, very sought-after uh, item right here. A lot of people open there, so there's probably about five left in existence. Uh, Zane, if you're watching, he's uh, he's one who still has a sealed pack, and then I think T-Pop also has one, among a few others. But... The reason we open these packs are for the big hit cards. So this is a Signature Series Distortion Crystal. This is a 1 of 45. There are uh, 25 in V1 packs and there's 20 in the God packs. This is Manifest Time. There's only 25 of these in existence. Helios Reaper of the Maelstrom Signature Series card, another 25 in existence. And then the lowest printed uh, signature series card is the Yua Binding Love. Will you go lay down, dog? Um, yep, a 1 of 20. 1 of 20. And then there's also these cool little inserts called puzzle pieces. 20 total uh, complete sets, I want to say. Could be 25, but off the top of my head, I believe it is uh, 20. So if you can get all four pieces, you form the full um, distortion crystal. Let's see. And then those were all from V1, the V1 pack, which is this one here. And then from the V2, I'll show you the hits that are uh, from that set, which would be the Koshai Undead Chieftain signature series card, the Elise, the Eagle Eye signature series card, Autumn Winsome Sybil, Signature Series card. Full Art Dark Distortion Crystal. And then the puzzle for this one is Disastrial, the Chaos Dragon. Here are the four pieces. Got a couple of these puzzles here. Still waiting uh, on some further news to see if there's going to be a puzzle club or something for uh, completing the puzzle. And then the Rarity Guide insert card, just kind of a, one of those cool little inserts, Easter egg kind of things that can be inserted into the packs, uh, goes over the rarities with you. So the gray is common, green is uncommon, red is rare, secret crystal rare is kind of like the purplish color, stained glass looks kind of like a uh, three-dimensional star, and then distorted rare on the bottom there. And then <clears throat> to truly have a master set, I suppose you need one of these, um, a redemption card. So... If you pull one of these from the V2 packs, these are 1 in 1,200 packs. 1 in 1,200. Yeah, you heard that right. 1,200 packs. There's only six of these. You can contact Devin at Mails from TCG if you pull one of these, and he sends you a full Disastrial uh, Chaos Dragon puzzle piece as well as a couple other cool things. Uh, there's a couple other minor things that you can come across as far as Mails from TCG goes. There's uh, blank cards. Um, I got some other things as well. Let me see if I can grab one. Devin's come out with some really nice sleeves. Um, Autumn with some Sybil and Disastrial sleeves. Definitely need to add these to your collection if you're a Maelstrom collector. I think another promo I didn't showcase, but this was only available on the website, is the Rider of Pestilence promo card. Um, actually very solid as far as deck building goes. I built a deck around this card, and it's actually, uh, it seems like it's going to do pretty well. So I'm excited to see how this goes. Hey guys, so I kind of just started uh, testing decks and stuff like that, but this, this game definitely has some cool gameplay from what I've seen. It's a lot easier to pick up than some other games like Flesh and Blood and uh, Magic the Gathering. So as far as simplicity goes, I think this is the way to go. I think this is going to be a really good game to pick up and just be able to learn relatively quickly. Um, these were something else I wanted to showcase. These are just holographic blank cards uh, that I got when I uh, used that redemption card. Devin was nice enough to send these to me. I just thought these, these were uh, really, really cool. 
Um, but yeah, other than that, I think the only thing I can show you guys is the play mat that's underneath this. Don't do a lot of YouTube videos. I'm more of a whatnot streamer, but yep. just kind of showcasing that play mat. It's actually a lot larger than your average standard size play mat. It's got the nine spaces for your nine creature cards. Um, you got your combat cards, your land cards, and your discard pile over to the left. Sorry, you can't see it. I uh, just got off work, so I'm trying to just make a quick video. Um, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. If you have any Maelstrom questions, uh, feel free to hit me up on the, disc uh, the Discord server. I am Maelstrom on Seals. Um, I love this game. I can't wait to see, uh, you know, how, how far we can go in the future and how, uh, you know, how big it grows. Peace.